Hey guys, in today's video we're going to take you with us as we travel the night bus from Puerto Escondido to Oaxaca City and share in the experience on this trip with us. It's Aaron Lori Miller here with Plan Free. Stick around, it's this Addo bus right behind us. They say it's an 11 hour trip. We're going to take some magic nausea pills and it's going to be a lot of this. So let's do this thing. Check it out. Yeah. It's whoops. Yeah. It's like a yeah. <laughs> sorry. It's Not a view. The only view we're gonna have here is out the big side window, which is super cool. Cheers, yeah. We're pumped about the view. Yeah. But boy do we have the leg room. Hey, do you have any drugs you wanna take? I do. You wanna take some? I wouldn't mind hitting some tabs with you right now, yeah. We're gonna take antinausia pills. We are the route we're taking is from Puerto Escondido over to um, basically we'll just call it Pachula and then up into the Sierra Madre Sur Mountains from there. So the first two hours is just along the highway but we're going to take those anti-nausea pills just to let them do their magic right now and then once we hit those mountain roads we're hoping to pass out, have some sleep. So that would we, be great. we really recommend that. We've done part of this trip before up this mountain road and it was about four and a half hours up the mountain road so we're going like 11 hours up the mountain road yeah yeah so our previous uh, experience was on the smaller ferrari bus uh traveling from puerto escondido to san jose del pacifico you can check out that video here but um the feedback has been varied that uh, some people get uh, ill and some people are fine so like Lori mentioned we're going to take these pills uh i've only eaten one meal today as an extra step uh, I don't know if that'll help or not. I think you ate the same, right? So we, we haven't eaten since about 11 a.m. And hopefully that will help our cause. All right, checking in with you. The first leg of the uh, trip. We're in Watuco picking up some more people. Uh, I guess we've been on the bus for about two and a half hours now. Thank goodness for these earplugs and these eye covers because we've actually been able to get a little bit of sleep. Uh, this first leg, I think, is probably the best for sleeping because it basically goes along the coast, which is fairly flat. There's a couple of windy sections in here, and uh, I expect to get a whole bunch more windy here uh, pretty quick for the rest of the way, basically. What do you say there, Cookie Monster? Bring snacks. She says bring snacks. And I would say, again, bring the earplugs and the eye covers. They're invaluable. I do have something to say. When we first boarded the bus, we tried to talk to you about the view. I was so excited. We have seen them three and four right in front. So if the lights are on now, it's a bit easier to see. Maybe you could show. Mm. Yeah, so this is the view that, you know, you're expecting to get. But they have us come up these stairs here. And once we're in our chair, this entire wall is a blackout window. So, I mean, it's pretty perfect right now. We want to go to bed and sleep as much as we can. But normally, if you need a view to kind of keep it together without being sick or something, not in this beautiful ADOGL bus. Alright, uh, we'll see how much sleep we get in the next leg. Good night. Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, so we thought this might have been a longer video, but uh, the driver was so good. The bus was super comfortable and we slept the whole way. If you're thinking of taking the night bus from Puerto Escondido to Oaxaca City, we can just encourage you to go ahead and do so. Our experience was pretty smooth the whole way. We did get boarded three separate times. Two of those times was looked like from Addo staff, so from the bus company. And one time we did get boarded by police. So 
uh, keep that in mind when you're making travel plans. So we also just wanted to share, um, well, a couple quick things. We had heard from someone else's video, you might want to travel with your own toilet paper, and I thought, oh man, whatever. I threw a roll in just in case, into my backpack. Well anyway, in the middle of the night, I am out of my mind groggy. I mean, it's the middle of the night, so I had to go so bad. So I, we were in the very front row seat, air was sleeping in sound as the baby. I stumbled all the way to the back, through legs and arms, made it to the bathroom, sat down, went pee, and I look around, there's no water, no soap, no toilet paper, no hand towels, nothing. I thought, oh. But by that time, the deed is already done. So I just uh, did my best and then stumbled back to the front. So just wanted to mention that even on the really nice buses, you might want to bring some toilet paper. Mm. Just want to add to that everyone uh, my strategy regarding uh, her wonderful bathroom story and to minimize my uh, probability of having to use it was I stopped taking in liquids about um, four hours before our bus departed uh, in hopes that I wouldn't have to get up and go to the washroom during the uh, what was it 11 hour trip it worked for you. and it worked for me I haven't gone yet but I feel like I should maybe go now so Ciao. Oh wait, one more thing. The motion sickness pills we took. Ah. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Worked like a hot dang. Neither of us had any even remote feelings of uh, nausea. Yeah. So yeah, really good. Another thing, another tip I would share with you is that uh, oftentimes in these buses, the air conditioning is turned up quite high. So you can see uh, I'm dressed uh, head to toe in pants and long sleeve shirt. So is Lori. Uh, she also had a good idea. We packed extra blankets. You'll probably need them. Uh, I think we mentioned earlier, we'll recommend it again. Eye covers and earplugs will make your trip a lot more comfortable. Um, uh, what Air just said is the best. He recommended it at home. We wore our, our normal nightly ma eye mask and some earplugs. I don't even think I woke up all three boardings. Could have fooled me. How much was this trip again? I paid 515 pesos per person for this, uh, for that big person, for the big purple ADO GL bus, whatever GL means. Yeah, super luxurious. It was uh, bigger than most airplane seats we've been on. They recline in uh, two separate settings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty slick. I think Lori slept 100% of the way and I slept yeah. about 95% of the way, so it was not a big deal at all. My name's Air. I'm Lori. This is Plan Free. Thanks for joining us on this quick trip overnight bus from Puerto Escondido to Oaxaca City. And yeah, stay tuned for some videos on this city here, which we've heard a lot of good things about. And we'll see you in the next one. We recommend you watch this video next.